Hey everyone, damn, I've been appearing in the beginning of these videos a lot recently. Oh well. Um, I did manage to get a couple more bits and pieces out of the, the video file that was still good. And here's one of them. Luckily, this bit's quite interesting actually, and quite hilarious. Uh, th this is probably going to be the last part though, to this episode of the podcast. But stay tuned, we got a lot more content coming to the channel soon, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. Do let us know what you think about this whole splitting up things into different parts, though. Or would you just rather us upload it as one whole, you know, three-hour episode? Or would you rather see it as 20-minute segments? I don't know. You guys tell me, and we look forward to hearing from you. Run only as fast as I can, but my mind is free To sail across terabytes of reality To soar above a pixel land in a rocket ship The night, 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 night made of megabits Ladies and gentlemen, leave the world and bring your friends Step inside and close the door Shut it out, plug it in, press start and we're flying I'm stuck with Windows 7 again. Uh, I tried it in uh, VMware, but yeah. it. I'm glad they brought back the start menu, but they didn't bring it back the way I expected. They brought it back with the tiles. So the start menu now has that tiles that you would have on the full screen thing. Which is eh. But, I don't know. I think I might try it again to see how Cortana works, because everyone's so hyped up about it. To be honest, I mean, the whole the whole voice command thing, it's useful, but I think people are just over, it's over, over people are making it over dramatic, like, I don't know how to put it, but it's it's neat to have, it doesn't, you know, obviously it's not going to be perfect. I thought Windows, so do you think Windows 10 is better than Windows 8? Um, I can't say that right now. I would need to actually go back and try it because there's been a lot of updates since I last tried it. So, but as far as it looks, it seems um, a bit more faster. It runs a bit more faster than Windows. So it's. Um, so it can handle more. It's yeah that and the implementation of DirectX 12, which seems a bit more optimized. Uh, Windows, yeah, Windows 7. Um, but the thing is, people who are running Windows 7. People over romanticize the useful voice commands will actually be yeah they really do. I mean I like the iPhone Siri. I've never used Siri on my brother's iPod. I've never <laughs> used Google Voice or whatever it's called on the on my phone. I've never used any voice commands on Windows. It's just everything I've done. I've you know done it by hand really, and I've never seen the use in it. Well, I've used Windows Voice or not Windows Voice, but like Google Voice for searching but that's pretty much it yeah unless you, you know unless you can't spell out a word then you say it and it should, you know it'll yeah. do it for you but that's as far as it ever gets mm -hmm. and you know with the you know what you guys um are you guys talking about crystalletta no uh, google has um, a voice search thing on the android phones yeah I google now it, google now that's what I think it, it is. has google in general now has it yeah, Google in general now has it. They have it on the Chrome, and they have it on their phones. But yeah, Google now, I think that's what it's called. Let me check. What about you, Kieran? What is it you were saying? Uh, voice. Uh, <laughs> voice commands. How people over-romanticize about it. I just think it's a lot of gimmick, because you're not going to be like on a train and be like, Siri, where's the nearest? And then you're like, you just look like a prick. Yeah, you look like an idiot. <laughs> Yeah. Because I guarantee you, when you have to be there, like, well, I'm Scottish, so voice recognition doesn't really understand my accent too well. Uh -huh. So that's one reason why I hate it more than most. <laughs> so then it should have, like, mul like options for different accents? I think they do uh, that. The amount, the, amount of, the amount of slang you'd need to know to understand what I was actually saying, it'd probably not be worth it. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be worth it. But even then, it's it's the same thing with Google Glass. Um, I've never actually seen anyone use Google Glass. It's useless. Google Glass is useless. 
people are just gonna think you're an idiot. Unless, you know, unless you're some geek that is trying this out for fun, because I wanted to make a, a glass at my own point, because I thought the thing was cool. It was like an interesting concept to me. But, practicality-wise, it's not going to be very you realize, you realize you look like a fanny when you've got just <laughs> wearing weird glasses and looking at them like, wow, Facebook, yay. Yeah. And the only thing that I think would ever be useful is a smartwatch. Have you guys seen the smartwatches? No. I've seen a wee bit of them, I? Yeah, th those are the only things that I think would ever actually survive. Because they, they look like a regular watch, and they give you notifications from your phone, which is kind of useful, actually. That way you don't have to pull out your phone to look at, you know, you got an email from someone. And but it what if like you don't watch. have a phone? Um... Well, the point of a smartwatch is to really to pair it with your phone. Ah, yeah. So there's really no point in getting it if you. Don't yeah, have there's a phone. really no no point. Um, are you guys still talking about? Oh my goodness, it's the WB Shield. What? What? What's the WB Shield? Warner Brothers. I don't know. <laughs> oh. I see what he's doing there. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> what is it we're talking about? Just like it very uh, confused. Let's talk about Warner Brothers uh, Shield saying that you can't talk about things. Uh, hold on. LG. What is that watch called? But they made a watch that looks like an. I'm just trying to find an image of it. LG. Oh, uh, there's one for the Samsung. You know, for the Note. Yeah. There's a, you can get a smartwatch for that. No, I, I love the one LG it's made. Smart me, watch. You know. Look at this, dude. This is the one LG recently. They call it the LG G something. Um, but this is the one they released recently. Let me post this in chat. Look at that. It looks like an actual watch. That That's something I would wear. Not the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch looks weird as hell. It's a very awkward design, and I don't think it would be comfortable around my wrist. If I had the opportunity to get one of these, I would try to make a video re review on it, but I don't. I don't have that money kind of flowing about. <laughs> Let me see if I can get the Apple Watch. So Saturday Night Live. Uh, what about it? Yeah, that does look like a fancy watch. <laughs> right? It, it reminds me of... Of like a Rolex or something. And then here's the Apple Watch. This is something I would not wear. Because it looks a bit weird. And it doesn't seem very comfortable either. I would just wear the smartwatch just for the looks. Like, yeah. I would wear it for some of its usability. And that's about it. Yeah. I'd do it because you can pretend to be like something for James Bond. Yeah, it would look like something for James Bond. I mean, we've gotten this far with technology. Well, I mean, doing it with your phone, because that looks cool. When you're sitting there with a pair of glasses on, being like, Siri! Siri! <laughs> what time is it, Siri? <laughs> and everyone's staring at you like you're a fucking idiot. 19. Wait, how, how much are the watches? Um... <laughs> <laughs> I have like £300 and like $500, I think. Hold on. Holy shit. It's a lot. LG G Watch R. It's called the LG G Watch R. Let me see. Uh, let's see what it's like on Amazon. Best Buy has it. It's about three hundred dollars. So it's not too bad. It's cheaper than getting four tires for a car. Yeah. National Broadcast. Wait. I'm a bit confused here. The NAB seal of good practice. So wait, you want me to have a, a television code before I go live, is what you saying? <laughs> I don't know anymore. <laughs> yeah, but I think... Oh. Yeah. Nearly got stranded today. 
How? Brothers. Oh. Brothers tire popped his rim. So, yeah, that was interesting. <laughs> it was like one of them wind crank, like wind jacks. Uh, oh, wow. It's just not fun. Wait, uh, Michael. Yeah. Sorry, this, I'm curious. If you don't mind me asking, where is it you're from? I'm from Michigan. But no idea where that is in this thing of America, but cool. What was that? I'm saying I don't really know much about where our states are in America, but cool. Oh. Do you know where the four li or five lakes are? In like the yeah, mitten no idea type what you're talking state? about. Sorry. Okay. Uh, it's fine. No. <laughs> I know what nothing next to nothing about America. All right. So a lot of people ask, yeah, like, "Oh, do you know that place?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> yeah, it's basically the state that's surrounded with water. Sounds fun. Mm hmm. I was going to say, just, well, I'm from Glasgow, it's in Scotland, the biggest city in the country, actually. Yeah. One thing is, no one can pronounce any of the, like, the towns from here. But I'll see if, I'll, that, there's one, that's my favourite one to give people and see if they can get it. That is the town closest to mine. Uh, to this day, I still can't pronounce that time, that name. Wow. Wait, what name? Oh, I know. I, now, no, I remember how it's pronounced. It, look in chat. You'll see it. Okay. What? How? Melnagave? It's a... No. It's pronounced Mogai, <laughs> isn't it? It's pronounced like Mo Guy. Yeah, Mo Guy. Mo Guy. Okay. Mo Guy. <laughs> there, there's actually the town I'm from. Ba -da -da -da. Campus Lang. Campus Lang. Campus Lang. Campus Lang. Okay. No, I don't know the it's, 19. It's difficult for me. Wait, Garrett, are you a TV guy? A TV guy? What do you mean a TV guy? Um, as in he knows the background about it. Because he's sending me what? these sort of like old seals. <laughs> he, he, like a TV director you mean? Or like... Yeah, like someone who's working... Producer? With, some, yeah, someone who's working with television companies in the day. Because he's talking about someone about... If you, if you don't know what the NAB seal is, it's seal. Yeah. It's not... Yeah. Oh, I'll we'll see if I can get it. Whoops. Yeah, because I sent him the BBC clock from like 1985. <laughs> yeah, you're a TV guy? Have you worked with actually, like any in any studios or anything? Or are you just uh, an enthusiast? Um, 19... Wait, is anyone in the chat answer back? Or? No. Uh, Garrett's talking about the 1965 seal of good practice. <laughs> Oh my god, I mean, I just love the 1965 Seal of Good Practice. <laughs> I mean, my god, where would our society be without the 1965 Seal of Good Practice? <laughs> I mean, come on. Calm down, Kieran. <laughs> I mean, Dave, Dave, you don't, you don't understand, man. You don't understand where we would be as a race, as a species, without the 1965 Seal of Good Practice. I mean, the streets would be on fire. We would have not invented the airplane. Hitler would have won the war. And exactly, um, Mussolini would not be fat. What? What? Without <laughs> the 1965 seal of good practice. <laughs> <laughs> it shaped our species. It shaped my nation as a nation. It helped build America's economy. It helped your country. And it destroyed the Martians. Oh dear God! <laughs> so, I'm like so confused. 
So Go. just think, the 1965 seal of good practice is the staple <laughs> of the humanity. Okay, Karen. <laughs> humanity. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This works to be animated. <laughs> I'll get someone to work on that. You know what? In chat, if any of you guys, I'm, I want you guys to help us out because we are not a very big group. Make sure this Twitch gets 100 likes and we will send you your very own personalized 1965 seal <laughs> of a good practice. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> no, we are not doing that. <laughs> um, I we need someone who we need an animator to to capture some of these moments, and that would be nice.